Uh, the mission of Wind Racers is to uh, bring prosperity to the people who need it by making a self-flying cargo aircraft that will reduce the cost of logistics, uh, especially in the middle mile. This is ULTRA, this is, uh, which stands for uh, Uncrewed Low Cost Transport, so that's ULTRA. And uh, it is a uh, twin engine fixed wing aircraft with a hold capacity of 700 liters and a um, uh, weight capacity of up to 100 kilograms. At Wind Racers we have three main use cases and we call it 3D. So uh, that's deliver. So we deliver point to point between uh, airstrips and, uh, and air, uh, airports. Uh, then we also do dropping as well too. So dropping from a uh, bay doors within the aircraft. Uh, we can parachute in, for example, humanitarian supplies, medical assistance. Also, we do detection, which is in place in the hold of the aircraft. We can put scientific equipment uh, such as infrared, photography, uh, geological survey instrumentation uh, to be able to, to gather information. One of the things um, that we're uh, well known for is having flown in the Antarctic over 3,000 kilometers and 25 missions uh, where we uh, flew in extreme conditions and did geological survey, environmental survey, looked at ice melt, uh, and did things like count penguins. Wind Races started as a really simple but bold idea about bringing humanitarian assistance to remote locations where logistics and infrastructure was really poor. Uh, so that idea was taken um, and brought to uh, people within the University of Southampton. And um, from there we, we came up with the idea for this low-cost cargo transport aircraft. Um, and from there um, we were able to not only create the aircraft, but create the use cases that were for it, um, all of which came out of the University of Southampton. But it's been commercialized since then. So this is an actual business. Um, we're producing these right now. We have a manufacturing facility. Um, and it's not just in test. It's being used, for example, right now uh, in Orkney. Um, and it's being used other uh, in three continents across the world. We have our engines here. We have avionics in the front and then all across uh, in, in the wing, so distributed. Also redundant, so there is, uh, we have a philosophy of no single point of failure. Um, also we have multiple uh, ailerons, flaps, and elevators. Uh, so uh, once again, no single point of failure. So, uh, and it's 95% uh, aluminum or aluminium, as you say in, here in the UK. Um, and um, it's, it's made to be in places, for example, it's a, uh, a two-stroke engine uh, that is uh, where it can be repaired and maintained quite simply uh, and operated simply as well, too. The way we see it, you know, we came out of a, an idea of humanitarian effort, uh, but we've realized this has a uh, a massive application within middle mile logistics. And that might kind of sound kind of boring, but actually the impact on economies and prosperity, everything gets transported, right? So if we can take trucks off the road, reduce traffic, uh, that's a good thing, but also it will reduce the cost of uh, transportation costs, which is in everything that's around us, every piece of clothing, everything we order, um, transportation is a cost and an element. So if we believe if we can reduce that cost, we'll bring greater prosperity to economies.